Jane Campion is one of only a handful of women to be considered an auteur filmmaker, as the industry is predominantly male-driven. Her stylistic creative choices that she demonstrates within her films, she has definitely earned her permanent place as an auteur. Campion is a New Zealand-born director, producer and screenwriter, and has developed many films over her career, with films such as The Portrait of a Lady, Sweetie, In the Cut, Bright Star, and multi-award winning film The Piano. Campion directs stories based predominantly surrounding female protagonists, and she explores their romantic relationships, ethical decisions, and their vulnerability while the characters she creates discover their most intimate desires. I could be whatever you want me to be. Campy is not one to shy away from different types of romances that her characters can have, ranging from Bright Star's poetic love story to then adapting her own narrative of the er erotic novel In the Cut, which is written by Susanna Moore. With both films, Campion's made conscious decisions on how to create these features with very different stylistic choices. Her auteuristic vision can be seen with her carefully selected choices of camera angles, framing, and the use of still and shaky imagery. This demonstrates the shift between interior and exterior shots to show a character's reality. Campion adopts a more immersive feel to her stories by applying a textural overtone to her characters, as well as the world enveloping them. Her protagonists can always be witness touching objects that relate to the character's decisions, giving the audience a window to explore the character's vulnerabilities. Within the cut, we are confined to the claustrophobic environment of New York City, with scenes of invading confined tight spaces and dramatic shifts to distant voyeuristic vocalizations in public spaces, following Franny's actions as if we are the killer stalking her. Campion creates a trembling environment as if it were running a fever, as Campion employs a highly subjective style of cinematography that is compelling, that uses stream of consciousness narration, often externally folklorized around Franny's point of view, while her fantasies and dream sequence provide us an internal access to her subjective perspective that gives us insight into her psychological motivation and behaviour. This is to enhance the sensory experience by incorporating the use of camera with blurry-eyed focal imagery, and because Franny's character is quite repressed with her thoughts, Campion implements the uses of dream fantasy sequences to guide the viewer into understanding Franny's decisions. The textural feel incorporated into Franny's character can be witnessed when she caresses the business card given to her by Detective Malloy and when she takes notes of the poetry on the train's advertisement banners. As Franny begins to explore her desires, her dream sequences become less and less. This is a creative choice that demonstrates a character shift which is externalised on screen. When we explore Campion's biological film Bright Star, it is a very different look and feel compared to In the Cut. Bright Star is a very light and airy and open. As mentioned, Campion impacts a textual feel into the love story and frames every scene in a way that creates gentle pacing, with the use of keeping the camera still for interior shots, allowing the story to continue as we listen to the letters being narrated between Fanny and Keats, almost as we are bearing witness to the love story unfolding. When Fanny caresses the letters closely to her and gently kisses them, we can feel and hear the material. Campion's contextual use of the butterflies, created to display Franny's internal feelings, are externalised in another stylistic choice that Campion has utilised within the narrative. As Franny reads the letters from Keats, the butterflies are shown flying around, brightly coloured and lively. Intentionally, the use of butterflies have a strong representation of the relationship between Franny and Keats, as they are also seen in the flower fields and the gardens. Butterflies are believed to be a symbol of hope and in some religions are closely connected to our souls, but this creative design also reflects that Fanny and Keats' love will be short-lived. As Keats quotes in the film, I almost wish we were butterflies and lived but three summer days. Both of the films explore the vulnerability of love and romance in different, very different stylistic forms and Campion's carefully selected choices to create more involved explorations of her female protagonists as she delivers characters that require for them to bring forth their intimate desires from internal thoughts to externalised actions. As the auteur theory is based on heavy criticism of the director's visions, stylistic choices and narrative themes, Campion's auteur signature can be seen evident across her work, 
with the textural feel she scatters throughout her films and the careful consideration she takes when it comes to framing the scenes of her stories, Campion has made a creative mark in the filmmaking world.